Hello everybody, I hope you're well. My name's Adam and I'm from the Mystery Builders YouTube channel. I'm working today with a Professional Builder magazine and their YouTube channel in conjunction with Warmflow and we're going to talk about everything to do with uh, air source heat pumps. For, up to the insulation, is it compatible with uh, this house, which is my house? Uh, insulation, going to go through everything and clear up a few misconceptions about it and um, hopefully see if, it's, uh, see if it's a viable option for me here. Hello, I'm Neil from Warmflow Engineering. I'm National Sales Manager for Renewables in the UK. I'm just on site uh, on the edge of Birmingham with Adam from AKF Builders just to look at his refurb project for his own house to look at air source heat pump and uh, whether it's a viable option uh, instead of gas boilers. So, first and foremost, yep. let me apologise for the state of the car. No, it's all right, no problem, it's a building site. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like someone's landed here, doesn't it? But yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it literally is a building site, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah so sorry for that. So, um, the location of the actual pump itself then, yep. is this, would this be all right? Yeah, so location-wise, if we looked at there, um, you want 500 from the corner, 500 this side, 400 at the back and then 1500 in front. Gotcha. Just, that's, just that's, for airflow. Gotcha. That's clear space all, all clear around, space around it. around it. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, so you can't put bins or anything in front no, of it now. No, because no. the, uh, the whole idea is you're moving volume is, uh, of air through it so it circulates. If you have less that space, it circulates on itself. You've already taken the energy out of the air. Right. So then they don't work and you get, get errors. Gotcha. So okay. they do come on rubber feet as well. So you could fit it on gravel whatever you're going to do, slabs, slope it a bit with a drain in the middle, whatever you want to do really. All oh, right, okay. So the flow and returns would go literally sh we'll in go, a straight we'll line. Would go straight through. Yeah, if you wanted to move it under the window, that's fine because our units are less than a metre, so it'd be fine under the window. Right. Noise wise, it's yes. A big question, big question. If you think of a gas boiler, yeah, the noise you get from a flue, it's nowhere near as loud as that. Oh, really? On our 20 kilowatt, the maximum is 54 decibels. Oh, right, okay. So we talk at around 56 decibels. Right. So not noisy, but it's an air, air flow noise. So they're not on full speed all the time. They ramp up and ramp down. Right. So um, you wouldn't even notice. You could sit out here, you wouldn't even notice it was running. Gotcha. So, oh, right. Um, Sorry, I said before, it's 1,500 in front, 400 at the back. So if you wanted to fence it off, you could do. All oh, right, okay. Make a bit of an area. Got you. All oh, right, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't realise yeah. that they were that quiet. Yeah. I and mean, then that's a big consideration for people. Yeah. Especially terrace houses. I mean, next door is obviously, it's just yeah, there, yeah. the back door yeah. is there. So that's with some consideration for yeah. them as well. All oh, right, okay, that's yeah. interesting. So in terms of where this garden is, um, Locate in terms of which way it's pointing and the sunshine yep. and whatnot. There's a big house there that blocks a lot of sun. Yeah. Um, in the winter, it, it gets hardly any round yep. here at all. Would that be all right? It'd be fine. It doesn't it doesn't really make any difference because it, it's the air and the fan is moving the volume of air, so it doesn't really make any difference on the temperature of air as such. Oh right. Okay. Um, north, whether it's north or south facing, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. So you, you don't normally say it must be on a south facing wall. It doesn't really matter. It's, the location is key for direct pipe work. All right. So if you didn't want it here, you could have it down the side, bring your pipe work in and across. So. Gotcha. Which technically is closer, but yeah, it, more, it more just depends what you want to do here. here. And obviously, you've got to think about you probably want somewhere for your wheelie bin. So do you make a bit of a storage area, yeah. maybe, and incorporate yeah. that into it? Yeah. Yeah. So our units are anthracite as well, so they look quite well against the cream. All right. Okay. Cream backdrop as well. Ah, right, so, and it is a roll colour, so if you add anthracite windows, it would match. It'll match that as well. The same, so. Excellent. Do you have to keep the front of them clear, I presume? When you say put bins, you can't put bins right Yeah, you, you want so you want 1,500 clear space in front. Oh, right, so, gotcha. Yeah. Right, but yeah. you could fence it off, make gotcha, a bit yeah, of an yeah. area if need be. Yeah. So, got you. Um, it's just for airflow, the volume of air moving through them, that's all. Excellent, got you. And that obviously needs power to it. Yes. What sort of... Size cable we're talking? So, um, depending on the run, the electrician obviously will size a cable. Right. We, we will supply, when we size the heat pump, we'll give a uh, ampage cable right. that's needed and we'll also supply a document with all the wires. So, all the wires come back to the unit, but we supply a document because some are voltage, some are volt free. Right. So, we supply all that okay. as well. So, And we would then speak to the electrician and say, This is what you need. And he would say, Right, can I do this? Can I do that? But because it's in the plant room, you just put a duct straight through. Straight through and and away it goes. And there you go. Straightforward. Excellent. 
normally you would have sort of two ducts, one for voltage, one for low voltage, so they don't mix, so you don't get different signals. Right, so, okay. But straightforward. Excellent. Nice one.